Hey guys, a lot of people want change, but I've noticed a lot of people don't want to change. Got a minute? So don't neglect wise counsel. Don't puff yourself up saying, I have the mind of Christ whenever you have a piece of it and it funnels through you. Pivotal to the idea of change is that people need to change. If something is not right, then we need to change it in order to make it better. And I don't think anyone would disagree with that. So why is there a common belief that people don't change? Everyone wants to change the world and no one wants to change themselves. And it's because of this, we like having control. We like having control of our own destiny, of our own fate, and whenever those things get ripped out of our hands, we blame it on everything else. So it's either we're in control or not in control at all anymore. But we can live with that because we can say that at least we tried to have control over it. What we don't do is allow someone else to have some sort of say or some control in our lives whenever we don't like what it is that they're saying. This is not what Jesus modeled for us. Let's look in the book of Luke. Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me, yet not my will, but yours be done. Here is Jesus saying, hey, I don't want to do this, but I will. And this ideology of doing something that you don't want to do or you don't see the reward for yourself or it's so hard, that is so foreign. It's called submission. And if we want to call Jesus Lord, then we have to make him Lord. We have to submit to the things that he says to do. Whether that be in the logos, in the written word, or if it's in the rhema, the spoken word, the things that he's telling you to do now. And this might be a shocker to some, but Jesus was made Lord and Savior. It's really hard to have him as Savior and refuse him as Lord. So when was the last time you did something God told you to do that you didn't want to do? When was the last time you did something like that and didn't see a reward for it? Because it shouldn't be about the reward. And I guess the biggest question here is, are you submitted to God or are you submitted to your own desires and what you can get out of a relationship with Him? Thanks for taking a minute.